morning. Welcome to AM Sports. Here yeah, with me, Muftar Nabila Abla. It is the day many Ghanaians will be given an opportunity of what to expect from the senior national team, the Black Stars, as they come up against Switzerland at 10 a.m. at today. And head coach of the team, Otoado, says that friendly match will be a good test for the team ahead of the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Uh, according to him, the Black Stars, who have been preparing since uh, Wednesday, they are hoping that the friendly match will serve them an opportunity of righting their wrongs against Brazil and Nicaragua so that they will improve on their performances in this year's Mundial. We have the pos uh, possibility to play against a uh, yeah, very good team. Uh, it's, uh, it's a good challenge before the World Cup and the last test and for us it's very, very good to try some things and to, to see also in which positions some, some play and then also from the tactical point of view we can also have some, some more insights on, on, on tactical things. We have a lot of, uh, still a lot of work to do. Um, we, surely we, we analyse Switzerland so we have to adapt to their style and uh, because Depending on their system, there are different, different positions we have to take and different gaps we have to use. And then also uh, defensively, it's a, it's, a, it's a bit of a different approach. So this demands sometimes also different players. So, but we're prepared and uh, um, it's, it's actually in all, it's a very good preparation for Portugal. A very, very strong team. Um, they have uh, shown that with qualifying for the World Cup that they are really, really good team. They have good players in their team. Um, who play at high, high clubs and uh, for us it's a, it's, a, it's a very, very good test. Everybody is ready, everybody is hungry, we're looking forward for the World Cup, but surely it's also about positions. So, um, like the, the, the 11 is not 100% sure, so everybody has the, the, the chance to show himself again and to show us as technical staff that they are capable of playing international games and uh, this is a good test. And like I said, the guys look sharp, they are ready. It's a very, very good challenge for us um, to play in Switzerland and um, this can also make impact for our decisions uh, who play against Portugal. And that opening game against Portugal is one of the most important matches, or it will be the most important match for the Black Stars as they seek to go beyond the group stages of the FIFA World Cup. President of the Ghana Football Association, Keto Kreko, says the team is not just there to make up the numbers, but to compete. We are here to compete at the highest level of football. <coughs> we are here not to make up the numbers. We've been at the Mondial before. The last time we went out in the quarterfinals. <coughs> so what I mean is that we are competitive enough to play at this level. What that means is that we have the capacity to either equal what we have done before or perhaps go much further. This is possible. And this will be possible if all of us behave in a certain way. If all of us behave well, and I mean it, this will be possible if when I come and stand in front of you, you pay attention and to listen to what I have to say. This is part of we being detailed in our thought process, in our thinking process, in our preparations towards we being competitive. We are not here to joke. The last time Ghana was at the Mundial, we played against Portugal. At the end of the game, Ghana scored two. Portugal, Portugal scored one. But Portugal won the game. The last time we played against Portugal, there were three goals in the game. Ghana scored two, Portugal, Portugal scored one. But Portugal won the game. <clears throat> I cited this example for us to think deeply about the small, small details that makes a team strong, that makes a team a winning side. And that includes paying attention to details, staying together, and doing exactly what your technical team will ask you to do. 
If you behave the way we behaved in the friendly against Brazil, in the opening minutes, we cannot be winners. All of you know how we considered the goals. It's important that as we start this final day, pay attention to every detail, every information that is offered to us by the technical team. The last time Ghana participated in the FIFA World Cup was eight years ago, and the team was led by Asamoah Jan. He's back in the four-time Africa champions to go beyond the group stages at this year's World Cup in Qatar. Ghana reached the round of 16 in the 2006 edition and secured a quarter-final place four years later when the tournament was staged in Africa for the first time in South Africa. In Brazil 2014, it was a different story as the team exited within the first round. As Amoja believes, the Black Stars have got what it takes to make it beyond the group stages and secure even a place in the last 16. It's possible, mm. it's possible because I've, 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 I've been in that situation before. Ghana have been ruled as an underdogs and we were able to qualify 2006, 2010. We didn't qualify in 2014, but we've done it before. So there's a possibility we can, we can qualify from a group stage. But they have to prove me right. We have a very tough task ahead of us in, you know, in Qatar and some call it unfinished business with Portugal and Uruguay. Some say we're going to do well, others say we'll come off after the first round and all of that. From where you sit, how do you assess things? Um, that is, that is where the players have to uh, challenge themselves. You know, sometimes, that's what um, I always say, sometimes opinions also matter sometimes. You know, even the other man, people say this, people say these certain things. But at the end of the day, you make the final decision. But at least, you have to see what is going on around town. Like, hey, people are saying revenge. People are saying this. It can even motivate you prove a point. So, to me, I think everything will depend on the Blasters, not only the players, the playing body, you know, because you don't only really depend on those going on the field. You, we have to do our homework work. About 12 years ago, when Ghana lined up against Uruguay in the quarterfinal of the FIFA World Cup, Mohamed Salih, was still very, very young. However, there is an opportunity for him to redeem the image Ghana lost 12 years ago when the Black Stars lines up against Uruguay on December 2 in this year's FIFA World Cup. According to him, it is an opportunity for him to revenge the defeat Ghana suffered some 12 years ago. He's been speaking to Southampton Television. The feeling like it's, it's, the, uh, it's the right time now, you know, uh, to represent my country. Uh, before um, I was ready, and you know, I spoke with uh, you know coaches and uh, you know the uh, president, so they they understand me. So I told them when I'm ready, I'll 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 accept the caller. What's changed in you to make you ready? How have you maybe matured personally to be ready to make this step? Yeah, because I had. Um, with the president, um, the FA president, they told me what they they are plans in trying to change everything in the team. Yeah, I spoke with the coach, the manager, and then um, he told me how he he, he needs me in the team. So that makes me change, you know, change my mind, you know, to, to be ready. And to make your debut against Brazil, I mean, is that the absolute dream of any country to play against? Yeah, I think that was a you know tough debut. You know, first my first game and then playing against Brazil and that was a tough debut. But I was so happy, you know, to make that debut. And then you obviously made your first start in the next game against Nicaragua. What was it like to be stood there with the national anthem playing? You know, from the start of the game for the first time. Well, it was a great feeling, honest. When I'm in the lineup, you know, before before the kickoff, um, was a great feeling, you know, and was a great um, experience. What do you make of the group? Portugal, South Korea, Uruguay. 
um, yeah, I think um, it's a tough group. It's a very tough group, and we we need to prepare. Um, we need to have a good mentality, and every every game is a tough game. So you need to have um, a good group. Um, we know it's going to be very tough, so we had to put everything on on each every game, you know, to to make the country proud. And I know Cristiano Ronaldo is one of your heroes as well. To play against him in possibly his last World Cup, that's a pretty special moment. Yeah, I think um, yeah, he's a. Uh, yeah, it's a special moment, you know. Um, not only um, like uh, it's my special player, but going to the World Cup is a, it's a special moment, you know. So, yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to it. And how much do you think playing in the Premier League with Southampton will help prepare you for this big stage? Because you've obviously played against a lot of these players before. Most of the players are playing in Premier League, and the intensity and everything. I think that that will help me a lot, you know, to. To adapt to the team. And I know there's some history between Ghana and Uruguay. I remember the 2010 World Cup. Is that kind of big news back home? Are they desperate to win this game, is especially that one? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Like, um, yeah, I think the the people are looking like forward to to that game because um, <laughs> they're going for revenge. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I too am looking forward to that game. You know, I need to stay for my country, like um, be with my country and then fight for my country. I think I'm, I'm part of the <laughs> revenge as well. Uh, when we play against Uruguay, you know, um, that, that World Cup, I think um, Ghana was the best African team that goes far, you know. Um, that was um, uh, memories like for me and that make me inspired, yeah. What is the goal for this Ghana team in Qatar? What would be success for the team? We have to do everything, um, I think, step by step. At first, um, we need to qualify from the group stage. And then after, we see what, what next. Mohamed Salah is there, speaking to Southampton Television. Now, let's take a look at the results and fixtures of the Ghana Premier League matches that were played yesterday it is only one match today it is aqua lions versus aqua house of oak the aqua derby but these were the results that were recorded on wednesday on march day 7 the ghana premier league great olympics they won 2-1 against real tamale united asante got a concert at home and drew against legon cities ediana stars were 2-1 winners over Brigham chelsea and that has taken them to the summit of the premier league table dreams fc suffered their third successive defeat after Bechem United won 2 1 against them at the Theatre of Dreams. Carla United, uh, they won 1 0 against Kim Faisal. No, Carla United lost their game. Kim Faisal rather won 1 0. That is an error there. Viviana Gold Stars also drew 1 1 against Mediama SC. The first draw for Mediama SC, first point for them in the last five matches. In Suatraman won 1 0 against uh, Tamale City. And later today, it is Accra Lions versus Accra Hearts of Oak, a contest of Accra Clubs. Thank you very much for joining us for AM Sports. I am of Town Navilla. You can head on to myjoyonline.com and read some more sports stories. The show continues right after this.